and his opponent across the ring fighting out of the red corner. He's wearing black trimmed in gold. He weighed in at 262 pounds. He is unbeaten as a professional with six victories, no losses, four wins by knockout. From Imperial, California, introducing Andy Ruiz. Well, Rich, since we last saw Andy Ruiz a couple of weeks ago, he did manage to lose a pound, but uh, I think that's going to help his speed. He was our discovery, as you said, right? Yes, yes well, you know, and look of all places we discovered him in Thackerville, Oklahoma, <laughs> for his fifth professional fight. Which well, we liked him, huh? Stirring a, a battle and, knock, and a knockout. This is a kid, he may weigh 262 pounds, but he you're going to be surprised by his hand speed, which is just tremendous. And yeah, he looked very impressive to us. And uh, again, uh, just uh, starting at 6-0 and oh against the 2-4 and four Francisco Diaz, who is in all black. Diaz boxing off the back foot now. Look at that hook from Ruiz. We'll see if he starts to let his hands go, but he's, wa he's walking down um, Diaz nicely. Diaz may have seen that telecast because he's moving away and uh, trying to stay away from the power of Andy Ruiz. Ruiz with a nice tight guard comes in. He's got a good sense of range. There's the hook followed right hand hook. So a three punch combination from a heavyweight. It's always a pleasure to see. There's two of them as he really lets his hands fly. Left hook, right cross. Well, what I want to see is that right hand of Ruiz that's going to eventually catch Diaz. Because every time he throws that jab, his hand comes down towards his waistline or towards his chest. There it is, another combination from uh, Ruiz. Rich, and who, now, who is, by the way, getting uh, excellent tutelage at where else? The Wild Card Gym, Hollywood, California. That's become, I think, the most famous gym in the world. Oh, now, absolutely, yes. You may have seen Freddie Roach in his corner. How does Freddie have time for all these guys, huh? Because he lives it. But oh, nice exchange, and it was Ruiz punching first and last, and he clocks Diaz. Diaz is moving backwards. He gets clipped with a right hand now, and he's back against the ropes. With still well over a minute to go in round one of this heavyweight four-rounder. Nick Charles, Rich Murata, and Gennaro Hernandez ringside with you in Anaheim, California. That right hand must have stung him. Diaz right here, because he got here hurt. Diaz not holding on. He's in trouble now, and Ruiz pushes him off. Now they're center of the ring, and Diaz looks like he could be ready to go. One more clean shot. Now Diaz will hold on, and Reese will break him up. I really like the way the Ruiz goes after him. I like his technique. He's, he's very technical. I mean, he, he doesn't drop his hands like a lot of heavyweights do. You know, he's up there with his guard up and he counters very well. Another impressive round for uh, Andy Ruiz in the black and gold, but it looks like Francisco Diaz will make it out of the first oh. uh, Not so fast. He does have to beat this count. And he looks like he's still hurt right now, look. You look at his body, he, he looks like he's still kind of off balance. Right. That was a numbing shot from Ruiz. And he does make it out, but on shaky legs. All right, let's take a look at that action. Now you see Ruiz advancing behind the left jab, and there was that right that Gennaro Hernandez was looking and waiting for. He was hiding it behind that left jab and came through, and then later on in the round landed that left hook, one left hook, down he goes. So Ruiz is one of these guys who has power. It's been evidenced by his knockout record so far. But power mixed with speed, I'm sure you guys will agree, is a real deadly combination. Oh, it is. Oh, it definitely Wonderful is. to see in a heavyweight, isn't it? And again, this guy's a four-rounder right now. Six pro fights Andy Ruiz. We'll see what happens when he starts stretching out. But I just love the pace he fights at. He knows he had Diaz in big trouble, and Diaz is hanging on already 15 seconds into this second round. We'll look at Andy Ruiz in the black and gold. He'll set up again, and now... Diaz with a little bit of offense as he paused with the jab. Boy, but his chin is hanging in the air, Gennaro. You're right. You know, I, I mean, Ruiz, he's a very, I mean, he's a very good, smart fighter by the looks of it. You know, he, he's trained very well for this fight. He sees the openings and he and he wastes no time and no punches. 
every punch that he's thrown so far, but the looks of it has been pretty good and landed at least on the body. And for you fans who are seeing Ruiz for the first time and saying, oh, but he's carrying a lot of weight. And this is his sixth professional fight, and he uh, his seventh, actually. But in his first two, he weighed in the 290s. Yes. So he's coming Oh, down. that left hook. Just There's that right hook. What a vicious right. The, the left hook started it, and the right hook seems to have finished it. And Jack Reese doesn't need to count on this one as Francisco Diaz and, and takes those a are, pounding. Those of you watching around the world and seeing this young man for the first time, you're going to be seeing a lot of him. Keep this him kid is going places. I, this kid is really going places. And he's as nice as can be. He has a big smile. He's from Mexicali, but he speaks perfect English, so he can, you know, he can cross over between both cultures. Oh, look at this here. There's the hook. It was that overhand right, and, and then the left hook. And then, then the right. Right up with that. Woo. And you know what? To me, I, I think Diaz is actually lucky that he didn't get that right up again, right on the jaw when he was going down. Good point. It's over inside two as Andy Ruiz breezes to 7-0 and with five KOs. The official word, we go up to ring announcer Jake Gutierrez. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Jack Reese stops this bout at one minute, eight seconds of the second round. The winner by knockout victory, Andy Ruiz. Well, just what Freddie Roach really needed, of course, was a successful fighter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a barn full. 